All right. <clears throat> Small updates to Golgari. So, uh, it has been quite a while since I've played this Golgari deck, but back when I was playing it before, I, I think I remember saying this initially, I started with four copies of Sharp-Eyed Rookie. And the more I play out the games with Rookie and kind of see how it interacts with the rest of the format, I'm a little bit lower on the card. Now, I still think that you want you need additional two drops because the problem with Golgari has always been that there's too many three drops. So I think two is kind of the perfect number where you don't draw it every game. And honestly, it's kind of it, like in some weird way, it's kind of more of a four drop than it is a two drop because you want to lead with either of these first into your three drop, and then you want to double spell on turn four with like this plus removal or this plus another creature. So it is kind of sort of like a four drop in that regard. Um, as far as the rest of the deck is concerned, everything else is pretty much the same. I'm I'm trying four Preachers. I know I was a little bit lower on Preacher and higher on Sentinel before, but the issue is that if everybody else is going to play Preacher, it kind of makes Sentinel much worse. So it's it's one of those things that, even though I think Sentinel is better than Preacher, if all of the other black decks are playing four Preacher, you kind of have to play four Preacher because this card is just embarrassing against opposing Preachers. Uh, three Shelly, the one Nissa. I like, I like the split of fives in the main, one of each. You could sell me on two command. Uh, you could sell me on not playing the Nissa, but it is nice against domain and control. Two Liliana's main concession against blue white and domain, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Seven removal spells. Everything else is pretty normal. Uh, and then I'm trying out second underground mortuary in the mana base. I had one before, but I kind of want to try a second one and see like how often the extra tap land matters versus surveilling cards into the graveyard. Sideboard pretty much the same, with the addition of exception of Hearse, which is good against the uh, the CFT sock Slogurk deck. Uh, rest of the sideboard's pretty much the same, so nothing too crazy there. Uh, yeah, looks good. Ah, I keep this. We'll draw spells. So the nice thing about Mortuary is you just like, well, <laughs> that is a spell. Not really a spell that I want. You know what? They just won't kill me. It's fine. I'll keep that. They will just not kill that. Can we play some? Maybe at the end of the stream. If chat's... chat, If chat's... How about this? How about I make a sub goal, all right? Uh, we currently have one... Two... We're at four subs today. If we get the 20 by the... Towards the end of the stream, we'll do a small Bellatro at the end. How's that? We could do that as, like, a daily Bellatro sub-goal. You know what? I'll even put this up here. Hold on. Wait, can I? Mm, no, because if I refresh this, it's going to go to zero. All right. Okay. Well, just whatever that number is at the end of the day, add three to that. If we get the if so, if we get the seventeen, then we'll play some Bellatro at the end. Kind of got a block. Calling out oil barons. Do we have any oil barons in the chat? Any any uh, any any gifties? Any primes? Any oil barons? But yeah, the number is plus three. So if that if the subs today gets to seventeen, we'll do some Bellatro at the end. As a little treat. A, a little treat, you know? Maybe I should have traded for Squeed last turn. I don't know why I didn't. Yeah, you can like Boros Jeeves. I'll take a look at it. <clears throat> I have 70 hours in it. I might have more. I might have more than that. I think I've already won, like, six runs. I had a sick run today where I had a... It was a, it was a, a three-of-a-kind run. But, like, I, everything just lined up perfectly. I had the Joker that pays you for having... For only playing three cards. And oh, it was, like, everything just lined up so perfect. Oh, this is just Convoke. Okay. You could have told me it was just Convoke. Two, three, four, go to ten. <laughs> All right, don't have a second uh, frenzy, please. Please and thank you. Asking very nicely. 
did a high card run. Yeah, it seems like a lot of the people, a lot of the Bellatro streamers that I've been watching tend to do a lot of high cards. And I don't know why that's the case. Like, I guess it's easier, like, it, it's easier to find a hand that you can play a high card in, because it's just more likely to, you know what I mean? It's not, like, very specific. Like, you can always run a, a hand with high cards. Right, yeah, yeah. More consistent. But you need really good jokers and bolts to be to make a good high card run, I think. I'm gonna hold Takanuma. Good chance I just channel it next turn. No reason to play it. Wish there was more player agency. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's it's tough though because a lot of the game, a lot of the the power, a lot of the power within the game comes from random jokers, right? It's just like how well how well do you hit off the jokers kind of thing. Are they shoving? I mean, I guess they have to, right? Four, eight. They have no cards in hand. This will be draw a card, go to eight, go to 12. Does this thing have trample or no? It's not a trample. Uh, Play this. I'm just going to play two bats. I don't know how they beat two bats here. But doom bat, doom bat, doom bat. You know, there's an e-boat for bat. There is there is a twitch.tv slash doomwake emote for bat. Any doom bats? Any bats? Alright, you have a squee. I accept. Brother, you're dead. <laughs> I block. I'm gonna block. Oh, I'm gonna block. They didn't even come close to killing me. Wasn't even close at all. They want to win on time. Yeah, I mean, you know, if they had gotten me to like two or something, but I ended the game at ten life. Like, all right, mono red removal spell, removal spell, sweeper, sweeper, card that gains life. Liliana out, Nissa out, uh, Glissa maybe out. What else do I cut against mono red? That's the problem with the matchup is I have too many good cards. Way too many good cards. Do I just cut Preachers? Yeah, we can cut Rookies, I guess. What is my next worst card? It's got to be a 3-drop, right? Because I'm boarding in Frillbacks. It's, it's got to be Preacher, I think. It feels weird to cut Preacher against Mono Red, but like, what else do you want to cut? Everything else is so good against them. I could shave a land, maybe. I could shave a tap lane on the draw. But I don't know if I want to do that. I understand Preacher is good. Do you think that Preacher is better than Sentinel? I don't think it is, because Sentinel has Vigilance. <clears throat> I think Sentinel having Vigilance is more important than Preacher in this matchup. Couple Knights? No. On the draw, you just you need to have a 2-drop. No, you don't want to cut Knights. I'm totally fine just playing Knight, trading it, and not casting it again next turn. Just If it trades for any piece of cardboard, that's good. Like, that's all I want to do in this matchup, is just trade, 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 and start slamming haymakers, you know? Can't cut Breacher? Well, I just did. You're going to call the cops on me? Wee-woo, wee-woo. Preacher police. Hmm. It's an interesting draw step. How likely am I to cut down their next play? If it's a 2-2, two -two, I can't cut it down, but it could be a Phoenix chick. Am I willing to time walk myself? I think I'm willing to time walk myself here. Just like, if they go land 2 2, it's pretty bad, but. Okay, deal. I like that. Mm. I guess I'll kill the chick, it's more damage. End up probably killing the Kumado next turn. 
Untapped lane is nice, too. Yeah, you just gotta play for the highest upside. I completely agree with that. Just wanna use my mana. Death Cap Glade. Also, chat, for those of you just tuning in, there is a little sub counter up there. If we get to 17, because that doesn't add the three that we already have today, if we get to 20 total subs today, we'll do a little bit of a, a little Bellatro stream towards the end, maybe for like half hour, 45 minutes towards the end of the stream. So if you want to see some Bellatro content, that's the way to do it. So you Keck by Forge. Keck by Forge. Dude, Frillback is so insane against red. Okay, we're trying it again. I'm just gonna race them at this point. I'm winning this race by a lot. Oh now I'm definitely the race. I'm gonna try to make this a six toughness creature so they can't frenzy it. Oh, just, you know, the best garden by deck on top. No big deal. No big deal. I'll keep that. <laughs> this game was not close at all. Jesus. Alright, 6-7. Yep. <laughs> I'm blocking. I'll take. I'll take. Minus 2. I take. Yeah, I'll take 2. Snapcaster Joe, thank you for the two month resub. Welcome back, Snapcaster Joe. Appreciate that. Thank you for the sub. Plus one for Bellatro. Any primers? Any primers? So, if I fire up Cottage, they're dead, right? I guess they could have double frenzy. Six, seven, eight. You know what the five headline is? Counters on Sentinel just attack for eight. Is that the five headline? You care if they have double frenzy? Not really? <laughs> no, I guess. I guess I don't care if they have double frenzy, right? I'm just gonna I'm gonna do this line because this line's cool. This line's cool. This is this is the fun line, right? This is this is the demoralizing line. Can't really lose from this position. I agree. Lightning strike my frill back. Yeah, just gain eight, you know. Just plus eight. Alright, your turn. You may proceed. Give him the year go. Dude, I'm not blocking. <laughs> I'm at 23. I'll take it. Minus three. Will they even get me below 20 before they die? Snapcaster Joe gifting a sub to Killer Slayer. Thank you for the gifted sub, Snapcaster. I appreciate that. Um, Combat. <laughs> I attack. <clears throat> Since you got your sub free with Prime. Who is Fletcher's Johnson? It's a it's a real person. I'm actually I actually met them in Chicago. Hmm. This hand is really good against a certain percentage of the metagame, but it's quite bad against another percentage. I'm gonna hope that they're playing the former and not the latter. Okay, decent in the mirror. Two drop. I know keeping this looks really bad, but this is, like, one of the best cards in the mirror. It's really... I, like, I actually think this is really close. Because I only have one copy. I guess I have Takanuma if the game goes long. Alright, I'll graveyard it. Drawing a card on turn two. I will not make that mistake. Maybe they need a third land. You only really ever do that if you need a third land. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. 
Uh, which one of these do I play first? This doesn't die to Virtue, and sometimes they play Virtue. So I guess I'll play around Virtue. I'm not attacking, though. Because they miss. I'm not going to attack when they miss a land drop. <clears throat> Although, I guess if I do attack, then they spend their turn go for the throating. That's pretty good for me. So. Maybe attacking was fine. Yeah, like, same thing here. I should have attacked last turn. I guess it ends up being the same thing. Although, unless they don't block, then it's not the same thing. Because I could just cast mine next turn. I don't need to do it this turn, though. Do you know what is between the mastery and wins that look like a deck box says O out of three above it? Okay, what was your question? The what's di what is between the mastery and wins that look like a deck box? Was that oh was that on the main page? I'll check it when I will become back. I honestly don't know, Derek. Like people always ask me, like when when I meet new people at events and stuff, they always ask me like, what do I prefer to be called, Devin or Doom? Honestly, I don't care. You can call me whatever you want. You can call me Fletcher's Johnson for all I care. You can call me whatever your heart desires. As long as you call me. Yeah, Fletch for short. Yeah, that's what it is. Fletch for short. What's bad in the mirror? Probably Rookie. Rookie's not great against Cut Down. I really don't like Liliana in the mirror, especially in the draw. Is that weird? How good is Frillback? Anoint's pretty good against Dread Knight. How about Hearse? Hearse for Dread Knight, does that make sense or no? You're going to call me Antonio Antonio de Padua, Maria Severino Lopez de Santa Ana y Perez de Lebron. I don't know what that means. You like Rookie? I mean, I need two more cards, so call it even. You guys want to see the dinner that I got last night? Dude, you're going to like this. I celebrated, I, I took my mom out for dinner last night because it was her birthday. Bro, check this out. You want to see what I got? Look at this dinner. Ooh. Ooh. It was so good. That little, like, ball that's in the middle there, that's just a ball of mozzarella. So fucking good. So good, dude. <laughs> One of the best meals I've had in a while. No, it was sausage. It was sausage. Did Mango ever say anything? He said it looks good. It was like with a vodka cream sauce. Oh my god. It was so good. I could have eaten like three three plates of those. So Mango was not the first reply, but it looks like that because um, I think what Twitter does is it sorts the replies by number of followers they have. So he didn't reply until like 10 hours after I posted it, but it shows as the first reply because he just has infinite followers. He, he might as well own Twitter at this point. Okay. So they have Liliana. Again, I'm not a huge fan of Liliana in this matchup. Funny, they discarded Nissa. I discarded Command. <laughs> Interesting. I I kind of want to force the minus. Do I? Does Bat maybe also force the minus? Probably not. It's kind of a weird spot. I'm gonna Bat. You made a nice bolognese last night. Uh, yeah, but I didn't see it on your Twitter. So did it really happen? I didn't see you post it. Okay. Hmm. So I think I'm actually doing this. Prioritizing this the next turn. I don't know if that's a good idea, but that's what I'm doing. Just discard shielder to fay uptick. Todd says, reap my bolognese. That shit looks good. God damn. 
That does look really good. I give it a solid eight. A solid eight. A ten. They also gained eight, by the way. Mm. Turns out Nissa probably not good enough. Yeah, we're just dead, right? Yeah, literally just dead on board. All right. Okay, next time, draw an answer to Archfiend. I guess I should have kept the Gixxas command, huh? I still don't like Liliana, but it is better on the play. I don't know. You could maybe convince me on Liliana on the play. Would you rather have Liliana over Rookie on the play? This mirror is so weird. What if we trimmed on Cutdown? Like, what is Cutdown killing besides bad? There's really nothing else, right? It's just bad. Yeah. I don't know if I want to cut all of them. But I could definitely see cutting down on them. Maybe like 1-1, one, one, play two Lilies in the play. Try that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh no, I can't fuck with y'all. Yeah, but hitting Knight is like not even that good. It's not really a good exchange for you to do that. Okay, I'm going to keep this. Leading on Mortuary so I can find an untapped land. Okay, that works. Kind of. I mean, it's hard to bin a card like that. Trade this for cut down, but then hopefully the second bat's good. Kind of surprised they're playing Archfiend, to be honest. I, I don't like Archfiend and Golgari, personally. I don't think it's very good. I can, like, I understand playing Archfiend and Rakdos because it's a little bit more aggressive where you have, like, Harvester and Inti, um, and then your 3-drop is Gix, but this this deck has, I mean, I guess you have Dread Knight, but you're not playing Gix, so it's, like, it's not as aggressive as the Rakdos deck. And I think Shieldred, personally, for me, is a lot better. Okay, we have to bat... It's going to be a tough hand to beat. Oh boy. That is going to be a tough hand to beat. Both at 20. I think I have to preach. Yep. Their hand is Nissa plus Aklazots. I guess I attack first and see what I draw. <laughs> okay. Uh... I think we just have to hope they don't have a land. God, this feels really bad. <clears throat> 26 lands, by the way. Should be playing more, I guess. I should probably play Bat God here. Oh. <laughs> I just... Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. <laughs> They're like, hmm, I could play either of the five drops my opponent knows about, or I could play this third five drop that I drew. Nice. Nice. That was definitely a match of magic that both players participated in. Did I have fun? No, I, I did not have fun, as a matter of fact. Thank you for asking. All right, more mirrors. So much Gol Gol Golgari, huh? Oh, never mind. Never mind, it's actually Abzan. Uh, I guess I'll just make them pay three life to kill it. Mm -mm. We're just drawing a card. Ooh, can't cast that. Deck is so bad it lost the mirror. Yeah, I kind of just want to play a three two. Put some pressure on them. Mm -mm. So hopefully they play preacher and we draw black source. Okay. Not a black source. Do I get greedy? 
There's no way I get greedy here. Maybe I should, though. I don't know. I'm curious to what their white splash is for. Maybe they're, like, white, black, splash, green, and they have emperors. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Do do. Boop, boop. Yeah, they could be playing Sunfall, too. Although, Sunfall doesn't make a lot of sense with all these creatures, right? Like, Sunfall, Bat, don't go in the same deck. Yeah, Emperor announcement, most likely. We have to draw a card here. Please, untap land. Okay, I guess I can't complain about that. Uh... Tech. Kind of want my Liliana back. They did trade bats, which I'm like pretty fine with. I guess they now have the edict for the Liliana. Yeah, there's Emperor. Nineteen. I have three ways to answer Aklazots. What's <clears throat> up, Shababa? I top aided on Saturday, ended up losing in top eight to blue white, and then I O2 dropped on Sunday. I played I played two RCQs. I was only gonna play one, but I decided to play a second one. Well, the issue, Jose, is I just don't have that much time because they're they're clocking me for you know four to five points of damage a turn while that's happening, and I can't even flip it back currently. Yeah, I guess I could Cottage to clear the Emperor, but it's my whole turn. It doesn't feel great. I mean, honestly, nothing feels great. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's kind of a that's kind of a good point. Is just casting this um, means that I can like just get an just get a, a, a ramp spell out of it, basically. Like, plus one mana. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now I can double spell. Drawing a land would have been nice, because then I could have killed the Emperor and played Dread Knight. Good triple spell. I don't particularly want to go for the throw of the Dread Knight, though. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> How do I beat this hand? Bruh. Brother. Brother. Yeah, they have one forest in play currently. Although I only have one, too, so. Yes, I... It doesn't even matter what I take, right? They're just going to kill my thing anyways. So I'll take this. This is basically going to be impossible to win. Creature is unbeatable. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's that that is the point that I am making. This game kind of feels unwinnable at this point. I guess I kill that. Okay. I mean, they can just play defense. They don't have to attack. Well, they did. Could have traded, maybe. Okay, go for the throw at this clown. <laughs> uh, Ao. Susch. Susch. Anyone else miss Golos Field and Standard? I certainly don't. What if I just double Edict? A Preacher left over. Next turn, if I draw an untapped land, I can go Preacher Flip Bat. I kind of like double Edict here. I don't hate it. It just, like, it keeps their board clear. And it, like, kind of maybe forces them into a spot where if they feel like they need to answer Liliana, they have to do this. 
mean, I guess they have the triumph, but looks like I'm winning to me. <laughs> no, there's no way. There's no shot. I don't even. I still don't even think I'm ahead. To be honest with you, I still don't think I'm ahead. Do you really think that I'm ahead right now? Problem is, they just start making, like, giant idiots. They're not playing Nyssa? Why would they not play Nyssa and just start making 6-6s? Six I mean... Okay, I mean... We're kind of cooking now, I guess. I don't know why they didn't play Nyssa. They're also not blocking? Okay, now I'm confused. Alright, I mean... I mean, now we're ahead, but, like... <laughs> They also threw this game, right? They should have just played Nissa last turn. I guess they only prevent three damage that way. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm definitely not losing now. You were ahead the entire game. That's not true at all. There's no way I was ahead the entire game. So they're going to triumph my bat god. Which means I don't want to fire up the cottage this turn, I think. Because I just want to get back to the Bat God. Oh, right, ETB's tapped. Well, I can just... I can animate after they kill the Bat God, right? I forgot the land came into play tapped. My bad. It's too slow. What if I even got the Dread Knight in there? If I do this... They put this here... Chump here, take three, they go to three. And I can just draw a card. That's not even that bad. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, I guess I'll get rid of Emperor. Because I don't want them Takanuming that back. It's a pretty good draw. Really? Interesting decision. You know, I really don't know how we got here. I'm not quite sure how we got here. What an unwinnable game. Yeah, my opponent made some questionable plays, all right? I think that my opponent made some, had some questionable decisions this game. Unwinnable, by the way. <laughs> unwinnable was called two minutes ago. That is true. That is accurate. Uh, sure, that's fine. High rolling to hit a land and missed. Yeah, because they had the Nissa for a while, but they ended up discarding it. Uh, sure. Okay. So they go to three. And then we can go here. I can't get back this, can I? One, two, three, four. Unless I cut down my own bat, which I'm not doing. Obviously never doing that. Uh, go. Not that I need to. We're kind of just vibing right now. Ayo. Ayo. <laughs> Ayo. Ayo. Uh, plus three life. I'll take three life. Thank you very much. Oh, I should have killed this. Uh, you're dead. Sometimes maybe good, sometimes not good. Yeah, I don't really know what happened that game. Okay, how do we board against Abzan? Abzan, it's basically just Golgari with Ao. Get oh, Golgari splashing Ao and Emperor. It's just normal things. Unwinnable, by the way. <clears throat> Unwinnable game. Okay, this card's good. Ooh, I guess it could have, yeah. I probably should have cast the Gix's command. I didn't think about that. No, you're right, Siege Rhino. It could have. Nissa out, Pilfer in. There's no way I'm cutting Nissa. That ain't right. I'll cut this. This card's kind of whatever. Kind of want to trim on cut downs. Uh, I do like the Pilfer. And 
think. Yeah, none, none of these cards really look that exciting. I guess I'll keep in the rookies. But yeah, they could have they could have chump blocked the Glissa, and then after first strike damage hit an Emperor, or I, I wonder if there's maybe something else they could have hit too. Dread Knight Preacher Liliana, keep this. I have a question. Why are you playing worst deck in standard? You know, I ask myself that question every single time I play Demir. Seeing a lot more Demir the past couple of days. It's not just me, all right? Come on. It's not just me. People have been doing well with it online. No, Demir's Demir's very good. Demir is busted. It's an interesting draw. So they know about the Liliana, but they don't know about the removal spell. I'm going to pass. I'm going to take one, too. Shit. Rude. That's, like, hella annoying, too, because I wanted to Liliana the bat, but now I can't do that because they have the token. I could just let this happen and play Preacher. Just not cast my removal spell. But I kind of... Uh, yeah, I'm going to do this. Because then turn four, I can double spell. Turn three announcement, or turn three preacher, turn four Dread Knight plus Bat, I think is my plan this game. Well, if I had this last turn, that would have been fine. Somebody could have besage you this, then they'll leave the Bat. Which would have been a little bit better. Restless Prairie Jump Scare. Restless Prairie Alert, chat. Restless Prairie Alert. What are the odds to be died of that prairie? So many tokens, dog. Quit it with the tokens. The end. I mean, this is just all the same shit. Any llamas? Any llama enjoyers? I think this? Well, no, that one doesn't kill Preacher. I guess I'll take this. Just gonna play a homie. Disincentivize them to attack. You like taking the end? Because you don't want them ending the Preacher. Well, if I take the end, they just bitter triumph the Preacher, right? Does that accomplish anything? Answer's Knight. Yeah, I guess. I guess maybe that's something that you're considering. Yeah, sure. Make a homie. Draw. Just gonna play more preachers. Wait. This one doesn't get the same one in play, right? Okay, good. <laughs> I was like, wait, I don't think this one gets both of them in play. I was pretty sure that it didn't, but I just now <laughs> I questioned myself after I cast the preacher. Probably should have read the card before I cast the preacher, but I guess the cover up is kind of annoying too, huh? The cover up is actually pretty annoying. This is like too close to the sun. Ah, huh. I really don't want to play more stuff into the uh, into the cover up. How much? They need six evidence, which I guess they don't have. So we can go Liliana, Uptick, Discard, Besaju, play Waste, play Dread Knight. I guess that's fine. I'm going to keep the Glissa in hand, for sure. Why play Knight? Why not? I'm just going to replay it next turn if they cast the, the Wrath. But, like, I have enough mana that I if they cast the Wrath, I want to be able to do both next turn. Cover up Exile it? They can't. Oh, right, they discard... Yeah, okay. I wasn't thinking about them discarding 
to the Liliana as to pay the collect evidence, which I guess they had the triumph anyways. <laughs> it's fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We are fine. Twelve. They didn't go for it. Well, they had a tap land. They couldn't go for it. Oh, they're ending the Dread Knight. Okay. Sure. I'm with you. Yeah, they had a tap land that turn. All right, Dread Knight's down. So now we don't commit more stuff. Now we just pass. Because they kind of still have to cast the Wrath, right? <clears throat> I don't think they can afford not to cast the Wrath. Then we can just follow up with Devil Spells. Wait, I clicked on both. Brother! I literally clicked on both. Why not Bad God? Because they just exile it with the cover-up. Can they not exile the bat with the cover-up? I definitely don't want them to do that. What did they get rid of? What did they choose? They chose Liliana? Really? Two, three, four, five, six. All right, I play Bat God. I play Bat God. And they have no cards in hand. I can play a Virtue. I care. I guess they get back AO. I go to three. I mean, they're just dead. Play this. Play this. Maybe could have played the Glissa last turn, assuming they draw a land for Virtue. That could have been a little bit better. But we're still fine. They're not dead because they can block with the Prairie. Right? Because if I send everything, Animate Prairie, AO, block here, Prairie, Chump, block Glissa, take two, go to one. And then they get back, I guess, Preacher? They still go to one, though. And I can play two bats. Just send Glissa. No, I think Attack with Everything is fine. Like, they go to one. I draw two cards. I think this is, this is totally fine. I could also have drawn a removal spell off of that before blocks. This risky ass line. What do you mean? Oh, you're saying the turn that I played Bat God? Yes, sure. I, I I get that. We're still fine. Like, we're still totally fine. Uh, I should probably put the counter on the bat. Keep, go. <laughs> I think we'll be okay. Something tells me I think we'll we will be okay. I think we're chilling. All right, cut down resolves. Cut down resolves. I don't even have to get in combat. Just play this. Cuz like in theory, if I attack with everything, they can chump block AO on Glissa and like not die. They can hit um, Wandering Emperor off this, so I'll just pass. Make them have no outs. Oh, they also had Cottage, too, so they were dead. Yeah. Cool. I figured it out. Defeated the Abzan Menace. Almost ranked up. We're getting there, folks. And Block Constructive is, like, the perfect medium for those kinds of cards. You know? I would play Block. It's just weird, though. You Like, the way that they're designing sets now, you can't really do single set blocks, right? Because, like, the best part about block was having the really small small card pool for the first couple of sets, or for the first couple of events, and then, like, the, you know, the unexpectedness of what's going to come in the next set. And it the, usually sets have more of an impact on block than they do standard because the card pool is, you know, a third of the size or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I will, I'll pass. Although, I did, I did, uh, you know, I am top 12, 100, so I don't know what that qualifies for. 
qualifies me for an arena. I'm sure it qualifies me for something, but something that I'm probably not going to play. Draggy, thank you for the nine months. Pog, indeed. Nice bat, by the way. You ever bat your opponent and they just have two of the same card? All right, I'm going to flip a coin. You're right. I'm going to go here. I'm literally going to flip a coin. Flip coin. All right. Heads, braids, tails, Liliana. Heads. All right, braids. Cool. I could have flipped the coin on stream, I guess. You love standard right now? Standard, I know, I know a lot of people, a lot of people don't want to hear this. Standard is the best format. And I don't even think it's particularly close. It is just far and away the best format. It's, it's so good right now. Much, much less toxic than modern. Cut down bat? No. What? What are they going to do about my preacher? Like, worst case scenario, they go land... Uh, land braids, then I just like, okay, cut down your harvester, kill your braids. Like, do I care? What, they sack harvester to kill the thing? Well, then they have no pressure. Like, why does that matter? <laughs> I don't care if they sack harvester, right? I don't know. Um... I right, play Shelly. Shame the arena economy is the way it is. Yeah, I know a lot of people are like pretty anti arena because of the economy. I mean, if you want to play standard, MTGO is a really good a really good place to play standard. Like the queues are the queues on MTGO are popping in standard more so than they've ever been, and they've they've at least attempted to kind of defeat a lot of the, like, the wind trading that was going on before, so. Oh, they're just mega dead. I mean, they were dead anyways, but. arena economy better than paper economy what is what's nice about the arena economy is um a shieldred costs you the exact same as you know whatever the worst mythic rare is yeah that's a good point if you want to get started for standard you too can so you can check out mana traders exclamation point mana traders they are a lovely lovely service that you can rent cards on magic online for they have different subscription levels depending on which formats you play and, uh, you know, they are the number one source to rent cards for Magic Online if you would like to get started. Or even if you already have a collection, still never never a bad time to start Mana Traders. Exclamation point Mana Traders. For more information. I need to update the code, too. I think my code's not update, up to date on the, the command, but it should still work, though. They change my code, like, at least once a month. Yeah, you and you and the entire world, Burger King, and I. I also I also wish they had a dusting system, um, but the reality is I don't think they ever will introduce that. As much as I as much as I want them to, they've they've kind of explicitly stated previously that they don't they don't want that on Arena, which I don't know why. I mean, well, I mean I know why it makes them more money, of course, but yeah, they'll they'll never do that, which stinks, but. It is what it is. I think this looks pretty good. How good is Gix's command against them? It's kind of mid. I think it's better than these other options, though. Try this. <laughs> yeah, I saw somebody post that on Twitter. They had like 50 mythics, but no rares. Yeah, I, well, I mean, Liliana seems really bad. They just have a bunch of small creatures and tokens. I don't want to play Liliana against the Anvil deck. I don't think. <clears throat> Instead of getting gems, they give you craft points. 
Um, but then they have dusting, right? Like you can dust those for you can dust those for more craft points. At least I'm assuming that's how that works. It is not Demir. That is a good observation. What the what is this doing in your deck? They're trying to give me the coronavirus. I'm good. I don't want the virus. Don't you wait. My glizzy. I mean, t none of these matter, right? Like, who cares what I take? I guess I should take Surge in the event that they want to kill the bat. They have to sack something. Sure. I guess that makes sense. I don't know. Yeah, I'll be at Pandemonium on Saturday. And there's one on Sunday, too. I think Sunday was Abington. I'm pretty sure Sunday was Abington. Ooh, offering the trade. Why are they offering the trade? What's their play this turn? I guess they go Beetle hold up Surge for Glissa. I'll just take this. <laughs> Alright, this thing is not working. I'm going to turn this off. What are we at there? I think we're at how many how many subs are we at today? I think we're at seven. We're at seven. If we get the twenty subs, we'll play some uh we'll play some uh Bellatro later on today. That'll be towards the end of the stream. So for those of you just tuning in, if you would like to see some Bellatro content, we'll play some Bellatro later on if we get to twenty subarinos. Two zero. That game is so good. What's that? You haven't played Bellatro yet? You should play it. It's 15 bucks on Steam, but it's the best 15 bucks you'll ever spend. No, you can just go to Steam and buy it. Nothing official yet, Kebby. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to get I'm gonna try to sort everything out this week. So like by the end of the week I should have a, a set date. So just stay tuned for more details. Yon Toror I'm I'm gonna pronounce that wrong. Yon Toryu. Yon Toryu? I think that's right. Thank you for the 17 month resub. Welcome back, Young Toria. What if you send 15 in gifted subs? Well, I mean, if you gift three subs, that counts towards the, the total, you know what I mean? Is that what you're asking? The new Alchemy set drops tomorrow. Are you excited? I had no idea. Does that answer your question? I didn't even know that there was an Alchemy set coming out. Why on tour you? Okay. That makes sense. I will not be buying any of it. Me neither. <laughs> Me neither. Well, supposedly the arena qualifier this month is alchemy, which I didn't know. I had no idea. So I guess maybe I'll try to play Alchemy. I'm not going to craft anything. I'm only going to look at what cards I currently have. And if I can build the deck, awesome, I'll play the Qualifier. If not, then I'll just skip it. What's the best deck in Alchemy? Does anybody know? What is what is the single best deck in Alchemy? Do I want to know? <laughs> no clue. So we know they have Harvester. I kind of want to draw a card this turn. Try and find a land. Yeah, I guess that's a good point. I'll have to look at the set to see if there's anything for Timeless. Oh, also, I don't know how much I should tell you about this, but uh, there may or may not be, again, unclear, no confirmation, but there, there may or may not be another Timeless Creator Clash coming up, so... Be on the lookout for that. You didn't hear it from me, though. Oh, he already tweeted about it? Okay, well. <laughs> See, you didn't hear it from me, so that's fine. L4 Joe. Oh, 
I block. I block. We gotta get them dead pretty quickly, though. They're at 18. <clears throat> How quickly can I get them dead? I don't know. Attack. Yeah, you didn't hear it from me. You heard it from Anu. I didn't realize that Anu already tweeted about it. I thought they were doing it tomorrow. Unless he just, like... Unless he tweeted the vague, like, there's another tournament, but didn't tell, any didn't tell anybody who was playing. I'm definitely not playing in it, though. <laughs> is there anything from the new alchemy set that would be what that people would want to play in uh, in timeless i didn't look at the set so i have no idea but oh the open invite one okay that's the one he tweeted about bro you want to draw some cards you want to uh you want to uh draw some cards you want to draw some cards? I should have let this hit me to draw that extra. They draw an extra card. Fuck it. Things did not go well for our opponent this game. Eight. All right. I defeat your creature. I attack. I defeat your creature. I attack. And then you die. Easy. Easy dubs. All right, nobody voted that time. Ooh, rank up. Let's go. Mythic speed run. Any percent. Like, I guess that Golgari can play a bit of a longer game. Demir is maybe better in the short game. That's a good draw. Blue white. I sleep. All right, well. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, okay. It's only 30 cards. I'll look at this later. Say sorry. Deck. I didn't realize it was only three car 30 cards. Alright, didn't draw a counterspell, please. Please didn't draw a counterspell. Okay. Cool. I think Dread Knight is better than any of Demir's blue cards. Yeah, that is a good point. Although, like, I don't know, Golgari is much worse at blocking flyers. Maybe that doesn't matter, though. Because, like, the way that... I think the way that Demir wins is, you know, one drop, two drop Gix... But the problem with Golgari is it doesn't really have that kind of curve. So that's where I think maybe I could see an issue happening. It's like if that exact curve happens. But I don't know. I could be wrong. Kind of just want to resolve this. Discard cut down. I've been wrong. I've been down. But yeah, I would I would imagine regardless of who's favorite, it's probably closer. It's it's close either way. It can, like even if one deck is favorite, I don't, it can't be by that much. Because like Cryptic Code is also a house, and I was playing Cryptic Code, whereas most Demir lists aren't playing Cryptic Code, at least main deck. Yeah, that's a good point. Which they do play four go for the throat, so it's it's pretty likely they can kill Gix. Hmm. I don't want to go to combat first. Let's see if they have Emperor. I will draw a card. The Aftermath Analyst X. They're very good, but they're extremely hard to play on digital clients. But I do think they're 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 very very good decks. And also pretty underexplored, you know. I don't think we've really hit the the tip of the iceberg on those decks, and I think there potentially is a version of that that is extremely broken. I think they have a counterspell in hand. 
I really want to jam this Nissa. Discarded Island. I'm going to jam the Nissa. Because, like, what's nice about jamming Nissa this turn is this is the turn that they want to cast Deluge. So if they have a counterspell, they can't play Deluge. Well, Moss Sentinel is much worse if they have Sunfall. Okay. Honestly, not that bad. Totally fine exchange. But yeah, those analyst decks are kind of messed up. I played I played the CFT sock deck last week. And it's like I, I said this last week when I played it. It felt like a deck that was well above the power level of other standard decks. Like I felt like I was playing a different format. But they're again very, very hard to execute on digital clients. So it's it's probably more of a thing where it's you're gonna see a lot more of it in paper than you would online. Now we can probably double spell. It's actually kind of awkward here, because if I send the bat, they can animate the anchorage. I mean, I just don't send the bat then, right? I think I don't send the bat. Just get a 1-1. One, one. Draw with Mosswood. Yeah, I guess I could draw instead of playing Sentinel. But I also don't want to discard Shieldred. I could draw, and then if I draw a land off of this, discard the land, play Sentinel, and just not play a land this turn. That's probably the best way to do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this works. And now they have to attack Liliana next turn. Like... I guess they could find Get Lost, but they have to do something to Liliana next turn. They can't let me ult it. I lost the Aftermath deck in the semis of my RCQ. My girlfriend lost to it in the finals. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that deck, that deck is a lot. It's doing a lot of messed up stuff. Here, I'm going to add this just so I can... I'll, I'll just keep track of it when we, when we get more subs. But I want to add this for people who... Uh, Hold on. Give me a sec here. This is for us. For those of you who are just tuning in, this is for us to play some Bellatro later tonight. We're going to do like a half hour, 45 minute Bellatro runs if we get if we hit the sub goal. Let's throw that up there. Uh, I'll move this over here, actually. Whoa, not that. What the hell? Bro, I'm trying to move this. Professional streamer, by the way. <laughs> they have get lost. Okay, they're at 17. You still have four mana on tap, dog. They definitely have Emperor. Oh my god. I really hate playing against Blue White. I'm just gonna go to combat. I could map first, but I don't want them to like use a removal spell and you know blow me out with the maps. Okay. That I am fine with. That one I'm okay with. I fuck I hate that it's templated like this. It's so annoying. God, it's so annoying. Preacher to face. Yeah, I for I should have swapped. I should have sent Preacher Face these two at Chase. I forget that it's templated like that for the for no reason at all. I don't know why it's templated like that. Am I playing Shieldred? I don't need to, right? Actually, I could keep that. Because that gets triggered off the Dread Knight and the Shieldred. Yeah, I think keeping that's good. Uh, there I go. So I should have one more 1-1 one, one token. I don't know how much that matters, but I should have one more token. Okay. Turns out it would not have mattered.
So I guess they did that because they wanted me to tap out. Now they're going to sunfall me. But like, it's fine. I got my clue out of it. And I still have this. Two, four, five, six, seven. Go. I can't deluge now. <clears throat> to make it 3-3, three, three, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking to possibly play the Demir aggro mid-range, do you still feel it's in a good spot? I do. I think I like the Demir deck a lot. I mean, I'm planning on playing two RCQs this weekend again, and I'm probably going to play Demir in both of them. Unless I'm really impressed by Golgari, like this run. Then I'm either I'm either going to play Demir or Golgari. Still not 100% sure which one, but I'm going to play one of those two decks. Leaning Demir, honestly, though. I, I, like, I like the Demir deck a lot. I like its matchup spread. Yeah. I do like the black mid-range decks. Just not Esper, though. I, I like that Golgari and Demir just both have smoother mana bases. Like, that's what I like about Golgari and Demir versus Esper. Even though Esper is intrinsically the more powerful deck, I just, I'd much rather have cleaner mana. We can we can see this game. We're never beating two deluges. God, I hate blue white though. This is just like I don't know. I'm just not having fun. <laughs> These games are just not that interesting. I don't, you know what I mean? I don't know, man. I'm trying, Chad. I'm trying. Uh, these. I have to keep in some number of go for the throats for stupid shark. Let's do two frill back, two go for the throat. I really don't know how people play blue white in this format. I don't get it. Yeah, maybe I could keep long goodbye. Although sometimes they have the sometimes they have the six six the whale. So that's like kind of why I wanted to keep a keep go for the throat over long goodbye, just in case they still have the whale. Although there's not as many whales these days. Which version of Demir would you play? See that one, I'm still not sure on. I don't know which version is better between like um between like there's a couple of different versions people play. Like, the version that I was playing was Shredder and, you know, Spell Pierce's main deck and stuff. And then the more common version, which is, you know, Preacher and Fairy Mastermind. Still not sure which one I like better. I'm going to play more with Preacher and Mastermind this week to get a feel for it. At the time of making this comment, I would probably say Preacher Mastermind just because, you know, it's playing those cards is much, much better in the in the mid-range mirrors, too. So it probably makes more sense to play those cards. Yeah, I don't like Lazoff that much. I've tried Lazoff and I don't love it. Shark Deduce Depopulate. Well, we have Shark Covered, so I'll just take the Wrath. <clears throat> yeah, Lazoff not great against Denik. I think Lazav is probably just worse than Mastermind anyways, especially if you're playing the version that has like Masterminds and counter spells, because you just want to play more you just wanna you wanna play more of a flash game. That's what makes the Masterminds good, you know. Oh, good deck. Yeah, Blue White's great, huh? Blue White is one of those decks that either does everything or does literally nothing. There's no in between. I don't know why this is on the playlist. There we go. That's better vibes. Let me go watch Prog real quick. It was a good week. I like the episode. Sag vibes? The song's not Sag. I mean, it could be interpreted either way, right? It just kind of depends on what what the vibe is at the time. Like the the music is is pretty good vibes. See, like here, I'm not sure which two drop I should play. Assuming they have a counter spell, 
I'd prefer them not counter the bat. So I think I lead rookie because of that. I'd rather have them counter this. Oh, well, they just had nothing, so. I kind of want to play Glissa because this doesn't die to destroy evil if they play that. And it still pumps the rookie. Although it's worse against Emperor. This is better against Emperor. Yeah, I guess I'll play Breacher. They don't usually play Destroy Evil. Okay, whatever. Sure. Untap Lane is nice. Although I still can't really double spell. Do I really care if they Sunfall these two, though? Not particularly. Yeah, I'm gonna play Sentinel. Because, like, the rest of my hand is still just all gas. Okay, sure. You got it, dude. Attack. Go! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Right, that is a good point. Every time they cast a counterspell, their wraths are getting a little bit less value. I think I'm going to map post-combat. I want to try to get them to, to do something first. I think I'd rather have them kill the rookie. Okay. Alright, I mean, not the worst. <clears throat> Yeah, I had to expect that. What do you think about 1-2 to two Tyvar Stand in Black Green? So the problem with Tyvar Stand is the Wraths in Blue. Like, they have Sunfall, right? They have Sunfall, and sometimes they play Farewell, so, you know, stuff like that. So it's not very good against those cards. And for that reason, I don't think I love it that much. That's a card that you could consider bringing in against the, the midrange decks that have a bunch of go for the throats, but it's not as good against Blue-White because all their Wraths exile. Did they not play a land that turn? Combat. Okay. Interesting they deluged and didn't play a land. Maybe they just took two wraths. Play this. Okay. Toes in the sand. They're doing something. Thinking. Yeah, I know. You're playing blue-white. You're always thinking. That's just business as usual. Thinking, 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 thinking. I mean, the Hexproof is kind of cool, right? Hexproof, me, Hexproof does matter. It gets get lost, binding, that kind of stuff. But indestructible, not nearly as relevant. Uh, Okay. Sure. Emperor, Emperor Deluge, huh? Well, uh... Fuck me, huh? Go. Mm. Oh. It's not the hand that I wanted to see. What did they pitch? Not that it matters, but they pitch number lies. Makes sense. I can't even animate the land because they have Field of Ruin. I mean, I guess I could to force it because I have a second one regardless. Sure wish I had a Tyvar stand here. Tyvar stand would just win the game on the spot. And they do have enough to field and Emperor. So it's like, I can't even really attack here. It's good. Although now they can just field me. What happens if I attack with everything? Animate, they go field this, Emperor, exile this, stay at 10. That doesn't accomplish anything. I'm just going to pass. Uh. Go. This sucks. <laughs> this really sucks. 
I just, I legit can't do anything. They didn't field? Uh, what? Hello, opponent? Now they're gonna field. Okay. I know it's not an RCQ. When our store champ this weekend with a sweet vampire's brew. In standard? I'm assuming you're playing Bane Ripper, right? That's kind of cool. Depopulate. That is not a bad draw. That is not a bad draw. One, two, three, four, five. So I can bat and cottage. I can't bat god, though. Hmm. I could go bat plus bat god. The problem is bat god's not that good against the emperors. Yeah. I mean, I could go deep cavern bat, take deluge, animate cottage, attack, exile the other deluge. Like, that's pretty good, right? I don't think I have a better turn than that. It's a good turn. I don't think it's good enough, but it's a really good turn. Getting punished for keeping these go for the throats in against the stupid shark. They're at six. We gotta find another shield rid. That's what we need. Shelly, save me! Okay. That's not horrendous. Gets one of the emperors down. Maybe. Let's see what they drew. Oh. Okay, it just definitely does not take the emperor, huh? I can't play around anything. I just have to play my cards. Your turn. Surely they won't draw Sunfall, right? Sure, surely they won't draw Sunfall this turn. Can line up go for the throw up my creature. They try to exile. That is a good point. I could try to do that maybe. Like if I attack with Bat God, get the other Emperor. They go to exile it, then I just go for the throw. That's actually not that bad, right? Oh, but then they can field the Aquazots. What if I animate Cottage though to bait the field? So like animate Cottage. Attack with Bat God, Cottage, they trigger, they discard Emperor, they play it, they go minus on Aquasots. Well, then they just... Oh, that doesn't work, because they just double the Cottage, right? But that's fine, because I clear this, I clear these, and this is gone. I lose this, I lose this. We're basically, like, at parity almost. Seems fine. I could even maybe send the bats. Maybe. Oh, okay. Well, they're just doing this now, which is better for me. Uh, Yeah, it's fine. Okay, this works. It's still going to be... Uh, still going to be a tough one. Now can I animate the... Uh, now can I attack with the bats? If they animate Anchorage instead of Emperoring, they eat... This bat take five, go to one. Do you think they would do that? Oh, no, I just go for the throat that... Yeah, I go for the throat the, the land if they do that. Okay. Right. Yeah, if they fire a Bankridge, I'll just kill this and kill them. Right. Yeah, this works out pretty well. Okay, so that happens. Resolve. I draw... Feel this. Devil you know. Devil you know. Resolve, resolve. Yeah, thanks. We go to four. I think I hold this. Is there a reason to play it? I, I can't really attack anyways, right? There's not a ton of reason to play it. I'm just going to pass. <clears throat> It's a tough game. Right, yeah, yeah. Yeah, if they rip a wrath, I can just like get back to kill the deluge. I 
That is also interesting. How much mana do I have? Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine, not including the temple, and I need to save three for the temple, which means I have six left over, which is enough to go frill back for one plus bat. So I guess we just take a look at what they drew. Also good if they drew Deluge, because they have to Deluge, we just take their what they Deluge into. Okay. So now we go one, two, three... Or pop the lockdown, I guess. Uh, auto pay decline. Pop the lockdown. Flip this. And just hope to God that they don't draw. I mean, if they draw Sunfall, we lose, but. Wait, this doesn't trigger rookie. I thought it. I thought it would. All right, go. Don't draw. Don't draw Sunfall, please. Exiled by Emperor. Yeah, but that they lose the Emperor at that point. Also, I can't prevent that from happening, right? If I attack with the two bats to, to clear the Emperor, they just get to eat the bat that's under the Deluge, and that's worse for me. I think. I'm pretty sure that's worse for me. I could be wrong. They draw another Emperor. I mean, I call. No, they drew a wrath. Oh. That's pretty fucking good. One, two, three, four mana left over. And I have nine. All right. I mean, I draw. Okay, one, two, three, four. They have three left over. Problem is they have another lockdown. They're at three. I guess we draw with this one. We can draw with this one and play one of them out. Yeah. Go. Definitely not going to play both of them. Oh my god. Dude, we are so close. We're so close. We need to draw another uh, another Frillback. Or a Besaju. Frillback or Besaju would be nice. So close to winning this game. I feel like I played this game pretty well. I don't know if there was a ton else that I could have done. What did you draw? I don't know. I'm fucking attacking. I don't care what you draw. I'm attacking. <laughs> Attack! Yeah, I know. They exile the Dread Knight with a lockdown in hand? What? Why would they do that? They literally have a lockdown in hand. I don't get it. Okay. That doesn't make any sense at all. I don't know why they did that. They could have just exiled the Frill back, and then I couldn't play the other Dread Knight, because then they just locked down me. I'm confused by that play. A very, a very sus play. A little sus. Doesn't really accomplish that much. How many Emperors have they gone through? Three. So they do still have one left. I guess I should do it now to do the check for the fourth Emperor. They only have one left, though. <laughs> of course they fucking have it. It's okay now, we just don't attack this turn. <laughs> Emperor number four, by the way. Oh, God. Dog. Dog, please. We definitely don't attack, right? Yeah, we can't really attack. All right, go. There are two. We can still win. We can still draw shield red. I guess they just go deluge for an answer and then wait till we see the fifth. If they see the fifth, somebody's got to get five. Jace. Jace. All right. Shieldred, please. Shelly, save me. 
Chat, quick, if somebody gives five, we're more likely to draw shield red. Wait, they're attacking? What the fuck? They're just giving me more outs. Why are they attacking? I guess they have to attack at some point, but... Uh, draw. I draw. Oh! Oh, that's a card. I guess it doesn't accomplish... Oh, wait! Oh my god, they can't cast a Deluge, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. They only have six mana. Yo! Let's go. Let's go. Hold. Hold. They're punting. So we go destroy, graveyard, decline. I don't care about life. Exile, graveyard, destroy. Holy shit, dude. <laughs> like, ain't no way, right? There's no way this is gonna happen. Alright, please. One draw step. I just want you to brick one draw step. I guess two, technically, but... Um... I have four mana left over. I could play the Dread Knight so I can pop the clue off Rookie. It's probably fine, right? Keep the knight back. Well, I can't attack with anything anyways. Oh, you're saying don't cast the knight? I mean, I get my card back off the rookie, so I think it's fine. All right, just please brick one time. Draw land, please. Please, please draw land. I want to win this game so bad. Please draw land. What does casting it do if they exile? It draws me a card. Okay, mill three. Please brick, please brick, please brick, please brick. Please don't draw Sunfall. Come on, man. I work so hard for this game. <laughs> I, I work my ass off this game. Thank the Lord. Can we get some easy claps in the chat? Every single person, easy clap. God, that was a... Wow, that was a match. That was a match and a half. I feel like that deserves some prime subs. If you, if you got some prime subs... If if that if that game but that match does not deserve a prime sub, I don't know what does. You know, at this point, I really don't know what does. So if you got a prime sub, feel free to throw it my way. It is the best way to support the stream. You unsub because of that. Why? Beating blue white is the the best feeling in the world. Why would you unsub? There's nothing better than beating blue white. Moon Shield coming in with the five gifted subs, folks. If you didn't get one, touch and chat. It is as simple as that. Thank you very much for the five gifted. And James, the one James, thank you for the prime. Thank you, thank you. Very, very nice of you. Thanks again for the five gift arenos and the one James, thank you for the prime. Dodged and chat. If you didn't get one, it is as simple as that, folks. We're getting it. We're getting that much closer to Bellatro. We only need six more to play some Bellatro at the end of the stream. All right, let's get a little Gamba going. A wee little Gamba. All right, Gamba's up. Kind of vibing with Golgari, honestly. I'm <laughs> sorry. 